pulled behind bars. A Norfolk inmate says it happened to him and a sheriff's office employee is the suspect in this case. 70-year-old James Rivers is charged with sexual battery. He resigned from his position as director of inmate programs yesterday. And tonight, the inmate at the center of this tells his story only to 10 on your sides and McNamara. And Tom, this inmate says he looked up to Jim Rivers like he was a father figure. That is until he says Rivers reached through the jail cell bars and touched his private parts. This is some, someone that I trusted. 35-year-old Marlon Fuller says he asked inmate programs director Jim Rivers for a calculator when Rivers stopped by his cell block. He was actually on the other side of the gate of the, of the uh, bars, and I was inside. And um, I was talking to him, and he kind of reached in and slapped me on the back of the head. And he usually does that from time to time, just joking around, playing, or whatever. But Fuller says the physical contact became sexual and inappropriate. He said... Uh, come here, I'm not going to hurt you. And then he reached through the bars with his right hand and grabbed the back of my jumper. And then he reached in with his left hand and went up and smacked my private area. Fuller says Rivers continued talking as if nothing had happened. Ten on your side stopped by Rivers' home Wednesday. No one answered the door. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office says Rivers resigned Tuesday when questioned about the allegations. This is somebody, you know, that I've, I've trusted for a few years. Like, I, I've known him. I've been in the program before. And I just don't understand, you know, why would somebody, you know, like Mr. Rivers do something like that. The spokesperson says a second inmate made similar accusations against Rivers in a police report, but has not pressed charges. I wanted to talk with you guys to kind of like, if this happened to anybody else, to kind of urge them to step forward. Fuller is serving a sentence for drug charges. He has a long rap sheet that dates back to 2005. Now, as for Rivers, he also worked as president of the local Norfolk NAACP chapter. I called there to ask if he still holds that position, but no one answered the phone. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. And Rivers will go to court and make his first appearance on Monday.